in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Wherever we are, we meet in the name of Christ, who is present in every time and place, as our friend and brother. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Very warm welcome to this Mass. It's great to be back. Slightly strange to be back, but great to be back. A warm welcome also to anyone joining us online over, from, over Facebook, who are also joining us live for the first time in quite a while from the Vale Church, assuming that the internet works throughout the whole of this Mass. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God, our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth, and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we sit for our first reading. Turned up the trench of size. 
response to the psalm is, Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, and your right hand happiness forever. Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. <laughs> alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your paths, O Lord. Make me walk in your truth. Alleluia. So shall we stand for the gospel reading. The Lord be with you. And all of us you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke, shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Therefore the man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same, will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please take a seat. So often we seem to think there's safety in numbers. So often we think if Everyone else is doing something. It must be right. Therefore, it's safer for us to go along with that rather than stand out and do something different. Sometimes that might be for good things. Actually, we get caught up in doing something inadvertently right just because everyone else is doing it. Other times, we get caught up in doing something that's actually quite destructive just because other people do so thinking of some of the sort of mob stuff that sort of builds up at times and suddenly it ends up completely out of control. In the first reading today, from the first book of Kings, here we have Elijah and we have people who follow Baal. There is Elijah on his own, there's all these prophets of Baal. Who do you follow? Do you follow those whoever else is following? Because, well, they must have worked it out, they must know what's going on. They're, Therefore, well, it's safer to throw your lot in with them or with Elijah. So we have this almost comical account. Well, who's, who's going to offer a sacrifice first and see what happens? You, go on, you do it. You've got more people. Well, God, your God isn't answering. Well, maybe, maybe he's asleep. Try a bit louder. Oh, maybe he's gone off to the shops. Let's try again. Try again later. Maybe he's just bored of you or something. And then nothing happens. Elijah offers a sacrifice to God and the response comes. This truly is God that he is offering a sacrifice to. 
This is truly God who he is worshipping. If people are just throwing their lot in with the majority, with the mob, they'd be going away from God. It's a challenge for us with all that goes on today. Do we just think, well, everyone else has gone to the beach, so we should be in a cra big crowd with everyone else because, well, they must be all right, nothing's going to happen. Do we say, well, everyone else is having a go at that politician, so we should join in? Then again, for a church, we think, well, a load of other churches are opening, should we do the same even if we don't feel ready? Some of my colleagues in England say, well, actually, I know what the other churches are opening, but we've got an elderly congregation, we can't do anything, it's safer to stay closed. Rather than saying, well, everyone else does it, so we should do it. How do we make our decisions? Do we trust God and step out in faith, doing things against the grain, against culture, because we know it's right, because we know it's following God? We sometimes just drift along with everyone else. And so may we, in our decisions, in our actions, follow God, even if that's something that means we're stepping out away for everyone else. Because we know that God is real, God is true, and God is to be worshipped and adored. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. We pray for the life of the Church throughout the world, for all Christians worshipping together in all kinds of different ways at this time, in person, over Facebook, over Zoom, and so many other things. May we all find ways to worship you in this strange world we are now inhabiting. We pray for this deanery, Bishop Trevor, for Tim, our dear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, praying for peace, justice, and reconciliation between all peoples and nations. We pray for an end to conflict. We pray for all those who are affected by discrimination and prejudice. All those affected by racial tensions and violence. We pray for this baby, for Queen Elizabeth, for our Lieutenant Governor, our bailiff, and for the states of the liberation. And for all those responsible for making difficult decisions. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for this local community, for this parish, for all those who live and work within it. This week we pray for all children of the parish as they've returned to school, praying for your blessing upon them as they get used to this new way of being in school. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for those who are sick, suffering, or in any kind of need. And pray especially at this time for Anne, Lady Jacob, Molly, Rosie, Val, Tony, Michelle, Barry, Hilary, Josh, Julia, Father John, Janet, David, and Lynn, and any others we know who are in need at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Remember those who have gone before us, those we love but see no more those who have died suddenly or unprepared, those who have died recently, among them Margaret and Eddie, and those whose years minus at this time, among them Olive, Nicholas, Adrian, Roy, Kathleen, Maureen, Jocelyn, Joyce, Jane, Raymond, George, Tony, Francis, Margaret, Edith, Richard, David, Joan, Barbara, Dory, and Molly. Pray too for all those who mourn, that they may be comforted. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Uniting our prayers for the whole company of heaven, we pray, merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we stand for the peace. A reminder, of course, that we don't shake the hands of those around us because we're all keeping our social distance, distancing at this time. Peace to you from God, our Heavenly Father.
Peace from his Son, Jesus Christ, who is our peace. Peace from the Holy Spirit, the life giver. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. seats which avoids us bumping into each other at a meter's distance or whatever it would be. Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have this bread to set before you which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes, this is God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, through to the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Be present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. Make yourself known to us. Though we are separated, unite us in faith. Though we are apart, grant us the communion of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels for ever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit. The broken bread and wine are poured. They become for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised and gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence, his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Michael, and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All the honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, 
for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive, but only to say the word, and I shall be. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, 
you have revealed yourself as Father, Son and Holy Spirit and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Hold us firm in this faith that we may know you in all your ways and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory. Through our three persons, yet one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us by your holy word and by our fellowship in the body of Christ. United with him and with all the baptized in every time and place, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Sustain us in our isolation by the power of your spirit, that we may live in peace and free from all anxiety to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. God of the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.